Uh, let me shut down these browsers because the song is over. That was the end people and moving on. Um, sort of a apt song to be playing as we do. Um, a Midnight Mastermind on Michael Jordan. Jimmy in Portsmouth, that is, asking the question. Jimmy, as always, why have you chosen that as your subject? Well, he's the reason I got into basketball back in the 90s. Um, and I currently run uh, UK Chicago Bulls social media pages. Um, along with uh, a general NBA social media page, which is the first one is at UK Chicago Bulls, and the second one is at NBA underscore UK fans. So that that's why obviously I'm a big basketball fan, and he to me was the greatest basketball player to ever play the game. Now, if you don't mind um, me asking, Jimmy, how old are you? Well, I am 36. We're sort of, the, sort of the same age. I'm five years older than you, but I want you are talking my language here completely because are you a Bulls fan? I am, for that very reason, yeah. yes. I, I think, like myself, it was a little... If you were into American sports and you grew up around about that time, especially through the 90s, um, a little bit like if you're a Manchester United fan, a lot of people were accused of being a United fan through the 90s and the early noughties because they were so successful. The Bulls were everything. And I, I remember watching them from over here in the UK, and this is the time before uh, satellite TV where you had to borrow, you know, uh, DVDs that didn't exist. You had to borrow VHSs <laughs> and people had to tell you about what they were doing. But I remember watching the Bulls and just thinking Michael Jordan was epic and I got into it I remember blagging my mum for a Christmas present to get me a Michael, like a, a Michael Jordan t-shirt and a Chicago Bulls reversal jacket so this I'm not saying I'm going to do well but this is a great subject oh see that straight away tells me I've made the questions far too easy well I don't know how, well I've said this before <laughs> and on subjects which I should do alright on because the problem was even though I was a Michael Jordan a Bulls fan I didn't really watch a lot of American basketball I played it I was big into it. I just didn't watch a lot. I just you know, loved the Bulls. Watch back then. It's so much easier now. It's, yeah. You've got social media. Yeah. Um, you've got a great a great thing which is called NBA League Pass now, um, which is really reasonable money wise, um, and you can basically stream any games live or on demand as well. Um, it's so much easier to watch now. It is. It is not in the day when you had to borrow VHSs. I must say though, although I loved Michael Jordan, I styled my game on Dennis Rodman. I did, if, if you're not into... Uh, see, see, now I think we've just become best friends because uh, although Michael Jordan is my favourite of all time, a very close second is Dennis Rodman. Of course. I mean, that, that def I mean, we're getting super nerdy here and everyone who's not into <laughs> basketball, but that defence he had, I mean, I start, apart from the cross-dressing and the dating Madonna, everything that Dennis Rodman did is what I tried to do on a basketball court. We won't yeah. talk about the North Korea stuff. He got well, a bit weird. He got a bit weird, but... Uh, yeah, it's a weird documentary if you've ever watched that one. He was um, a hell, hell of a player. The one thing I've not watched, um, and this is the last question before we get into the questions, is The Last Dance on Netflix. For people who haven't seen it, everyone's talking about it. It's apparently one of the greatest documentaries ever. Why is it so good? Honestly, I mean, for me personally, um, it's bringing back a lot of memories. Um, I mean, I was, I was only born in 84, so I was still very young back then. Um, and I haven't got the best of memories in, in any way, to Tell be me honest about with it. you. But um, it is bringing back so many great memories. But it's also telling me things that I wasn't even aware of. Um, and I know... I mean, the basketball, the UK basketball community is fantastic and it's growing by the day. And it's really amazing to be part of this and amazing people out there. But even non-basketball fans are watching this and they're blown away by it. Yeah, it's an amazing. Because um, it's a documentary it's, about Jordan, isn't it? And about the balls of that era. It's kind of a, it's about the whole team um, and, and other teams that they played as well. And just the players of that generation. Um, of course, the main focal point is Jordan. Um, and he has sort of had a lot of the hand, a lot of the say in what's been shown and stuff, and a lot of it, some of it, isn't actually very positive on him. Mm. Um, well, and that, that's, quite that, surprising. that's what made him such a great competitor, but we could talk Absolutely, about this all night. Yeah. We've, oh, God, yeah, we, I could go on for hours. Well, we've got to get it another time, <laughs> another time, Jimmy. We've got to get into the questions, so I'll set the mood. Midnight Mastermind. Jimmy, the mood is set. Radio 2 is yours. Three questions on Michael Jordan. If you're listening wherever you are, play along. See how you do, especially if you've watched The Last Dance. Take it away, Jimmy. OK, this one is an easy one for you. What number is Michael Jordan most famous for wearing? Now, I must admit, at the end of my research, I realised I couldn't remember. In my mind's eye, I can see numbers on his back. But he is most famous for wearing number 23. Correct. And that was the number he wore across all of his teams, wasn't it? 
it was, well, I, I don't want to give too much away. Oh, OK. All right. <laughs> Go on, Jimmy. Second question. Too much. Second question. How many NBA championships did Michael Jordan win? Nah, now, I know... He did the three P in ninety one to ninety three, so that's three of them. He did the second three P, which was when he came back from his retirement. So that's six. I don't think he won it with the Washington Wizards, so I'm gonna say six. Correct. All right, we're on for the full house. Final question, Jimmy. Here we go. You you're smashing this, OJ. I've got every faith in you. You're gonna get a full house here. So what sport did Michael Jordan quit basketball to play before returning to basketball less than two years later? It blew my mind when he did this, and it blew my mind that not only could he be the greatest basketballer ever, that he, but he could go away and play something completely different. And fair enough, he didn't play at the highest level. He wasn't in the major league. He stayed in the minor leagues playing for the Scottsdale Scorpions and the Birmingham... I've written that down badly. The Birmingham Barons. Barons but he went correct. and played yeah. baseball. He did indeed. And in fairness, he was a lot better at that than he was given credit for. But he was, he just wasn't... That's a story for another day. It is. The problem <laughs> was, he was so good at basketball that because he wasn't the greatest baseballer ever, I think people sort of toned down what his achievements were like. And also, they wanted I him back in basketball, right. doing what he did on yeah. court. Um, oh, yeah. Jimmy, that has been great questions. I personally have loved it. They were really good questions as well. If people want to find you on social media, where are these accounts again? Where are they? So the account for the Chicago Bulls one is at UK Chicago Bulls. And the other one, which is the general NBA stuff, is uh, at NBA underscore UK fans. Jimmy, I'm going to uh, follow you this not, second. If you don't mind, OJ, I'll just give a quick plug. We've got a watch party coming up for the NBA UK fans page. OK. Um, it was supposed to be back in April. It's going to be held in London. Um, but obviously, because of current situations, we had to postpone it. Um, but it will be going ahead once we're back to some sort of normality. So anyone around the area, get in touch. Um, even if you're not basketball fans now, just to meet really good people, um, it's going to be an incredible event. Sounds good, Jimmy. Sounds good. Thank you for taking the time out, and thank you very much for the questions. Appreciate you. Appreciate you having me on. Thanks very much. Cheers, Jimmy. Cheers. Take care. Bye-bye. Uh, there you go. Jimmy there asking questions on the Chicago Bulls. Full house. Go on, Dan. Do your joke. Three points. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sweet.